when this YNW Melly situation first happened, it was no way possible that you was gonna convince me that this man YNW Melly was innocent. It was no way you was gonna sit here and try to tell me that this man YNW Melly was not guilty. And you talking to somebody who was bumping murder on my mind on a regular basis. From the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep. From sun up to sun down. I had murder on my mind on repeat. And you still couldn't sit here and tell me that Melly won't guilty. You couldn't tell me that. I seen the footage of YNW Borland bringing the bodies to the hospital. All right? He did a great job of his acting skills when he pulled up, hopped out, ran, looking like he looking for help. He sold it. He sold it. And he probably still was a little jumpy. That's, that's how he was able to sell it because if that just happened in the whip, Ain't no telling what this man Melly going to do. So he probably thought he was next. All right. Okay. So when he ran in there, he sold it. He sold it. When Melly pulled up to the scene, when he pulls up to the hospital, and I guess he called himself crying, getting down to his knees, Ripping himself out his jacket Like he Ray J in the One Wish video I knew from then Oh, this gonna get ugly These guys is going down This before This before They even got investigated And picked up And charged This before all that I knew then See, they should have cut the scene when Bortland pulled up. And if you won't supposed to be round or know nothing about it, you should have let the police come to your house and, and I guess, try to tell you something. Go do a show and act like you was on the show or something. Do what everybody else do. Get on live and act like you find out on live. But I knew... Right then and there, when this man pulled up to the hospital, started doing all that hooping, hollering, and crying, and dropping to his knees, and ripping out his jacket, I knew then that man Melly was guilty. And there was no way that anybody was going to convince me otherwise. Until we fast forward four or five years later, Till we fast forward four five years later and we in the courtroom and it's not about what you know it's about what you can prove that defense attorney is working he is convincing me of so much reasonable doubt i don't think melly was the trigger man no more man i really don't believe melly was the trigger man no more the gunpowder residue is on Bortland's hands, man. We done all been in the car with that many people, and we be tired. You won't put, you don't pull over to a store to switch seats. You could do that on the side of the road right quick. Who is it to say that Melly and Bortland ain't switch seats? Due to the fact that Juve and Sack was already asleep. They were asleep. So who is, is it, who is it to say that Melly and Bortland ain't switched seats and Bortland had murder on his mind that night? Huh? Who is it to say that Bortland ain't make that happen and Melly was like, I got to get away from you. You know what I'm saying? And... End up getting a ride and dipped off and left Bartley to deal with his own situation. And he pulls up and say it was a drive-by. Who is it to say? Y'all don't have gunpowder on Melly hand. Y'all got gunpowder on Bartley hand. 
Alright? Y'all wanna say he y'all wanna say Mel changed clothes. They say Mel changed clothes, but did he change bloody clothes? Alright? And then if you wanna open and shut it, where is the murder weapon? Put the gun in Melly hand. They the prosecution not even putting the gun in Melly hand. They worried about a phone. That defense is arguing that this is not Melly's phone. This is the group phone. Everybody used this phone. Okay? You go back, you pull up the phone records. The phone is in Sat Chaser name. The prosecution want to know how the phone ended up in the car if Melly won't dare. The phone in Sat Chaser name. Sat Chaser was in the car. That's how the phone ended up there. And if he used the phone, yeah, his message is going to be on the phone. But you have people contacting him on his phone where they won't get a response from Melly in two, three months of time. This couldn't be his phone. This is how good the defense is. They, they, they is arguing. They is, getting, they is getting a lot of things thrown out. A lot of things that we seeing. The jury is not seeing. So the jury only going to see what's being processed as evidence. A lot of things that we seeing is not making it through the process. We had, it been a lot of sidebars. It been a lot of sidebar conversation. It been a lot of objections. It been a lot of sustains more than overrules. A lot has been getting thrown out. There's a lot that they ain't going to be able to use. The state, the prosecution, they done did a whole lot of underhanded things that the courtroom really can't can't say they a reliable source or they trustworthy. They done tried to sneak in evidence. They done tried to manipulate evidence. They done tried to... They didn't try to have people say certain things on the stand to 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 mess with the character of Melly to make the jury judge him a certain way. They've been doing a whole lot of underhanded things for an open and shut case. This case you would think supposed to be open and shut. I got a feeling after this trial. It's going to be a whole lot of mo trials. A whole lot of people going to start taking their case to trial. I just had that feeling. Because when this news first broke, it was no way you would tell me that Melly was going to take this case to trial. I thought Melly was going to plea out. Him taking it to trial alone put that doubt in my mind that Maybe it won't him. Maybe it won't him. With all the threats he was receiving to his phone. And it's supposed to be gang tied. Maybe they pulled up thinking they got their man when they didn't. Maybe Melly keeping it in the streets and he going to handle the situation when he handled it. That could be the case. That could be the case. They got text messages trying to say that him and Sack Chaser was arguing over some money. Oh arguing over arguing over who the leader of the group and who the who the rapper, who the star, who this, who that. But them dates don't add up with the time of the situation. It seemed like they resolved that before this situation took place. All the witnesses they bring up, they say, won't no argument going on. Won't nothing happening. Won't no argument at the studio. Ain't no fight take place. So it seemed like maybe this was a hit gone wrong. Maybe, what if it was a hit gone wrong? 
and they got the wrong guy. What if it won't a hit gone wrong? And 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 these people that were sending the threats, they just wanted to send a message to Melly. Maybe they ain't want to knock off the bag, so they knocked off two other the other two. They ain't mean nothing. Why ain't why Portland didn't get go, get gone? You know what I'm saying? But that's just what the courtroom got to prove. Me, me, I'm personally sold that him and Bortland conspired and, and had this jank planned out before it even went down. Because there's no way I'm the driver of a vehicle. Shots go off. And I continue to drive. And I'm going to let keep this man behind me. And he just did this to somebody. He beside. And did this to another person he behind. How can I just trust him? The only way I could trust him. If I'm in on it. I'll have to be in on it. For me to trust him. And then it seemed like. It was planned out, but it won't planned out. All right, you got Bortland being the fall guy. He got gunpowder residue on his hand. He could have the argument that they was in the drive-by and he fired back for protection, but he threw that out already when he said, no, he ain't have a gun. When they first started their investigation, he said he ain't had a gun, but he got residue on his hand. He should have went with that. It's a drive-by, I shot back. But then, he would have to bring them a gun. So maybe he did good. Because he didn't have to bring them a gun. And who knows, maybe he could say, hey, they, they were shooting guns earlier that day. But, hey, they might still want to see a gun. That gun being the murder weapon. They don't have a murder weapon. It's a whole lot they got to prove. Defense is defending. I'm convinced that it might be a hung jury. You know what I'm saying? It might be a hung jury. If 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 Melly just don't get acquitted and beat it, it just might be a hung jury. You know what I'm saying? If he guilty, I think they gonna put they gonna get him on the death penalty too because you knock two people off in your sleep. The prosecution worry about painting him as a gang member when this situation ain't got nothing to do with no with no gang nothing. Only thing you got to do is put the gun in his hand. They ain't doing that. They can't do it. So, uh, reasonable doubt. With reasonable doubt, you know what I'm saying, I think Melly going to beat this. Melly going to beat this. And it is what it is whole lot of people gonna be taking their case to trial because all that technology they be saying they got and and hold up this was in a small little a little small town too you know what i'm saying if it was in a big town he might he might would have been wrapped if it was in new york it might be over if he was in miami might be over you know what i'm saying so if he was in he was in a little small town when this took place too so they they want all up on technology. They they got a little technology. They ain't, they ain't got the technology technology. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't they ain't they ain't got what they what they what the gun at. They ain't tracked the gun yet. I thought that'd be one of the first things they find out here. You know what I'm saying? People asking the question of how they got the phone. I think they trying to say track had playing the inside game because he brought on the phone but then they mess up because they be like uh he gave them the he gave him the code of the phone through the jail call he they got the conversation with him and his mama through the jail call and they talking about the phone through the jail call all right if they doing that much listening on the jail call how come when he called track and gave him the information for the phone to track through the jail call, they ain't have enough common sense to know that, oh, track got the phone, or he going to get the phone. If they doing that much listening, 
how you think they stop listening then? How you think they just they just gonna stop listening when it's track? No, man. If if he called to give track information on the phone and they talking about him having a phone, yeah, they they just know to go to him and search him and get the phone off him. That that's how they that that make common sense. That's how they know that he got the phone. If they listen to the jail phone for everything else, don't make it. Don't make them stop listening to the jail call to fit your narrative or what you trying to paint somebody as or what you trying to do. You know what I'm saying? We keep it all the way 100. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep it all the way 100. If you gonna be smart, you gotta be smart all the way around. You gotta be smart all the way around the board. You gotta be all the way around the board with it. But that's my thoughts on the Mellis situation, man. That's my that's my thoughts on the Mellis situation. You know what I'm saying? Common sense wise, I know. Common sense wise, I I know he did it. I know he guilty. And I still ain't bumping his music unless he win this. And I, don't, I me knowing that he still did, I still might not bump it after he did it, man. You don't do your homeboys like that, man. Before you get in a situation like that, you he could have just cut him off. He up. He up. What they say, he could have brought him a plane ticket, bus ticket, sent them home. They would have never saw you again. You know what I'm saying? Air show you getting, you getting a check. You in areas that they can't even afford to come to. If it was that. If it was that. But hey man, y'all hit that like. Mm. Oh, hit that sub. Oh, oh, share the vid. Oh, 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 oh.